are guitar enthusiastics. Uh, today I bring you something new that I got out of Craigslist. I did a video that kind of demonstrating it. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link at the end of this video or in the um, or down below so you can see what it sounds like because I'm not gonna play on this particular video. But I'm gonna show you this guitar. I have no idea how to pronounce this. I call it Honer. I don't know if it's wrong. If you guys know better, please leave a comment down below. And this is one of these, uh, I guess, Stratocaster copies, or Stratocaster-like guitars. This particular one was made in Korea in 1989. And uh, I, I've had Korean, Korean guitars in the past and I've always been very pleased for the most part. I, th I think most of my experiences with Korean guitars have been great. And I, th I saw this guy on Craigslist for a ridiculously low price and I thought, you know what, let's give it a try. Made in Korea, 80s, it sounds pretty good to me. So I got it and I started playing with it. Uh, it was really in bad uh, shape, meaning that there was nothing structurally structurally wrong with it, but um, the neck was really bowed. I had to adjust the truss rod. You can tell they had never done it before on, to this guitar, or, they, or it's been a long time. Clean it up because it was dirty as it gets, and, and adjust the intonation and all that stuff. But after I did, I was pleasantly surprised that this little guy plays and sounds unbelievably well. Never played any of the Honor guitars before, even though I know of the brand because they made these Steinberger copies back in the day. Steinbergers are those guitars which look like a stick. They have no headstock and the body kind of goes like this. There's no wings or anything. Uh, they were popularized by guitar player Alan Holsworth, among others. Rest in peace, by the way. Big loss. And, uh, and that's, that's what I knew the brand for. Uh, so I decided to try this one. I kind of liked the headstock because it looks like a, sh uh, like a sore, but uh, this not as expensive as a sore is. And... Uh, and I thought it was in really good shape. The frets were really good. There was no major anything at all. And after they cleaned it, uh, it looked great. This thing, by the way, there was a sticker uh, over here. And um, when it was removed, that's the color. That I think that's the original color of the guitar, which was preserved by the sticker. So now it looks like a cream, vintage cream type of color, but I think it was almost alpine white when it was new. I think the color of the body matched the color of the pickguard when when they built it. Um, let me see, it's got a micro tilt to give uh, some angle to the neck, which I never ever used. Um, and uh, because I think it decreases the sustain, the less uh, the less contact between the neck and the body, I feel like notes die out a little quicker. So I don't really use it that much. The nut seems to be plastic or graphite or something like that. I don't really know, but it does stay in tune very well. And if you've seen me play, you know I use a lot the tremolo. So that's kind of like a, a must for me that they will stay in tune. What it feels like, well, it does feel like a uh, like a regular Mexican Stratocaster. However, there's a there's a big advantage that I really liked. There's something really cool about this guitar, and it's the radius seems much uh, much more flat, flatter than a regular Strat. Now I don't know if it's really much more flat or if it's me just feeling a little more flatness and, you know, feeling great about it. But there's definitely a difference there. And uh, it makes playing really easy. 
bendings, uh, uh, sweep picking, shred, like you can shred with it, but I don't think that was the intent when they made it. Um, it's got good sustain. Uh, I don't know, it's just a, an easy guitar to play. Nothing special to it. You can tell that uh, the, um, the hardware is not the highest quality. It seems in the chip side and not is the, the Phillips screws, which is rare. It's a little strange thing to have. But um, functionality wise, the it works fine. There's nothing, there's no throwback. There's nothing that I'm like, oh man, if it was a little more expensive or expensive looking, it would not really. I, I have not noticed any of that. Uh, the back of the neck is is got the typical stripe that all Stratocaster or Stratocaster-like guitars have. Uh, it's 22 frets. And the sound is quite... Um, I don't know, it's, it's bright, but it's not abrasive. I think it's, they got a real nice um, balance there. Uh, yesterday I made a video. I, I actually made a couple of videos. I made one playing this guitar and, to a Fender Supersonic. And then, right after that, I did another video uh, with the same settings, same volume, same camera angle, everything the same, playing this guitar. This is a... Oops! This is a Fender Stratocaster made in Mexico. It's just your standard Mexican Strat. Nothing special to it. But I, but I thought it would be very interesting to make those two videos together so that um, since most people are familiar with Strat sounds and particular with the, particularly with the Mexis because that's the guitar everyone can afford or most of us can afford I thought it would be a fair comparison because then it, you, you really get to see what's the, what the difference is and uh, I have to say I did not think that one sounding sounded better than the other one I thought they sounded different, but I will have a hard time deciding which one I like better. I really, I really was thrilled about this uh, this little guitar, the way it sounded. Um, but again, like an experiment, I thought it was a cool thing to do. So I shoot both videos. You you are welcome to check them out and see which one you like best. Actually. It will be cool if you you leave me a comment saying which one you like better and why, um, because I don't really have a reference and um, they like I said I, I'm very pleased with both. So that's an interesting topic. If you had to pick one and they were the same price, which they are not, uh, which one would you pick? And other than that, um, there's nothing. Oh. One thing that I found also interesting about this uh, Honor guitar is that all the parts seem to be non-standard. And what I mean by this is, you know, sometimes you get Strat copies or, or lower quality guitars or even Squires and the parts, um, they all have like the same specifications, even if they are not original, meaning Okay, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you look at the tuners, the piece of plastic that's the tuner, you'll see that those are not coming from the same mold as this. See, these ones are a little shorter and a little fatter. Which tells me that uh, even though they wanted to get close, they did not really copy, copy, cut uh, the original thing. They kind of made it a little bit of their own, which I think is it's not a bad thing to do, right? So this is it. This is the Honor ST Special Professional, aka Strat Copy by Honor. And uh, by the way, this is not like a... Um, 
lawsuit era or like an illegal copy. This is this is like a legitimate brand and a legitimate model of guitar. So I hope you like this video, and uh, I hope if you see one of these you and you have a chance to um, look them up or test them up, you'll leave a comment and tell me what you think. If you share my opinion, if you think I'm totally off. And uh, if you like the video, please leave a like. And if you really like the video or you want to stay in tune and see more guitars and that I'll try out or test or, uh, or I will talk about, you are very welcome to subscribe. See you in the next video.